this is going to be, we're on the negotiation. Is that cool? On the negotiation. And we're sitting down, price, trade, payment. Okay. Right? All the numbers are out. Okay. And I'm like, hey, I want more for my trade, and you can't give me anymore. Right. Let's just say you can't. We're out of money. Right. Andy, I'm out of money. And I say, hey, you know what? I'm just going to wait and sell my car outright. Right. On my own. Andy, dude, I totally understand that you want to get the top dollar for your trade. Let me explain a couple of things to you. Just like I told you this entire process, I'm going to make sure that I guide you down this process the right way. I'm your guy. I'm your trusted advisor. Andy, you trust me? Trust me? Okay, let me explain this to you real quick, Andy. Listen, there's. let me ask you two questions real quick. Have you sold a car in the last year or two years? No? Yes? No? I don't know. Okay, cool. Let me ask you another question. Is your time and your family safety very important to you? Yes. Right, let me explain a couple of things to you. We got COVID going on over the last couple of years. There's Craigslist killer. There's all kinds of stuff. This world is freaking crazy. Wouldn't you believe that, right, Andy? Sure. Listen, dude, you're one of the most busiest guys in the world. Just doing your freaking credit app and doing all your stuff and hearing your stories about all these people you're training. I know time is important to you. I see you with your beautiful family. I see everything that you got going on. And listen, to jump over a couple of pennies to pick up a couple of dollars and waste your time and then put your family safety in jeopardy is not something that we we should do Andy let's go on ahead trade your car in right now by the way you're gonna save money on trading in your taxes so the difference figure is almost right where you're at and Andy let's wrap this up today now let me ask you a question real quick Andy do you want your payment done at the beginning middle or end of the month his brother's gonna have a hard time beating that one all right bring him in dad his, his, his brother's gonna have to be on point Today. All right, guys, here we go. Same deal. Ian, this is going to be us on the negotiation. Woo, let's go, baby. Price, trade, payment. Let's Everything's do it. down Come on, on the table. Andy. And then I, I'm like, you know, hey, I need more money for my trade. Mm -hmm. and you can't give me any more money. Done. You're like, Done. we're out of money. Andy. Yeah, Ain't we're out of money. money. Cool. And I, I already gave you all the money. Yeah, and I say this. I say, yep. hey, Ian, I'm going to wait. I'm just going to sell my car outright. I'm like, Andy, let me ask you a question. When was the last time you sold your car outright? Uh, it was probably two, three, five, around four years ago. Okay, would you agree that times have changed? You know, obviously with COVID and everything going on, things have changed, am I right? Sure. Okay, so two years ago, three years ago, four years ago, you could put it on Craigslist, have somebody stop by your house, probably about 10 to 15 people because not one just calls and shows up. Would you understand that? So. Two to three years ago, you could have had a few people show up. You could have sold them the car. Um, but now you got to put your family's health at risk. You know, somebody comes in, they show up. You have to have five people drive the car. People are touching everything. Look, let me ask you a question. Is just a little bit more money worth your safety and your family's safety? Would it be? Cool. So it's not a matter of if you're going to buy, but when you're going to buy and the deal's right, because I'm 100% certain at this price for your car, we're all good. Let's go ahead and sign there. We'll wrap it up. Cool. Hey, guys. Y'all pick. Y'all pick. All right. All right, I'm gonna let you guys vote. We so all know this is Evan, easy. Evan went this first, an Ian went second. All right, hands up for Evan. 100%, baby. 100%. Damn, that's a good one. Damn, damn. It's all right, hey, I appreciate y'all's support. Hey. I now appreciate y'all's support. Hey, now we know guys the guys that he for paid. Life. Now I we know. understand that, I appreciate it. All right, guys. guys. Just for you guys doing that, it took courage to raise your hand on that one, okay? <laughs> I understand that, and I appreciate you. We do talk hey, a lot about courage. Thank you. That thank you. Courage. Hey, that's my boy. I, I love you, dude. I got you 500 bucks. Hey, guys, some, listen, you know I, I want to say something to you. Do you guys think they did a good job? Yeah. <laughs> did you notice, notice how oh, no, they no, didn't no, make no. it about the money? Did you notice? Neither one of them went back and fought the guy on his trade that it wasn't really worth the dough. You know what they did? They just went and said, because obviously the objection was, I'm going to sell my, out, my car outright. Now, outright means what? Outside of the dealership realms, things that I can't control. You know if you do go sell it outright, there's only th certain things I can control. And I can't control the fact that COVID-19 is a real deal. It's out there. And the fact is that I, I'm, I'm sure of it without even guessing. I don't care how many people come to drive your car, but I know 100% of them are going to want to test drive it before they buy it. That's for, for sure. Would you agree? Cool, so if 100% of people want to test drive it, it's just a little bit scary, isn't it? And it puts your family safety, you know, they, they keep going over that with you, um, at risk. Having somebody test drive your car that you don't know during the COVID is just a little bit weird. Not right? to mention, have you heard it's of the Craigslist killer? I was going to say it. I was going to say yeah, it. Yeah, my goal? No, could they be used in different scenarios, though? Guys, what we do is that we study one close, and then you're thinking family safety. You know, you're thinking about all these things that you can use in different scenarios, right? You know what I'm saying? 
Guys like, hey, man, I want to go test drive more cars. They'll say, hey, man, the fact that we've already found the vehicle that you love, right? You said you loved it. Look, man, it's just going and test driving more cars is just a little bit scary. I can only imagine how many other people have already test drove that second vehicle you're going to go drive. If you found the, the, the right one you like, you see, you could shift it into that. Not saying you should. You can decide to use these closes when needed. Now, let's go to the word track. Watch this. I want you to notice the way these guys work and the word tracks we taught them back when they sold. I trained these guys when they sold, okay? I understand I have two questions for you. Remember, closers ask questions. Instead of, hey, I want to wait to sell my car out right. Why would you do that? You're not going to get more money in than doing that. That's what the normal salesperson does. These guys say, hey, no problem. I completely understand. However, I have two questions I want to ask you. The first one is this. You see that? What they're doing is they're about to take them on a journey, okay? Guys, I promise you, all this is gonna click. You guys understand about questions? What do closers do? Ask questions. Okay, anytime you wanna change the subject, go to a different gear, reset, ask a question. But you know the answer. Anytime you don't know the answer, you don't have to give an answer that fast to their rebuttal if you do what? Ask a question. I wanna wait to sell my car outright. Hey, I totally understand. Okay, when's the last time you sold the vehicle outright? You don't know what to say, but you're, but, but you're slowing down because you need to think about it, okay? But you can't just stare at the guy, okay? You gotta ask a question. So, I understand I have two questions for you. Number one, have you sold the vehicle outright on your own lately? And number two, what's more important to you? A little bit more money for your trade-in or your safety? You see what I mean is, would you be completely comfortable with a stranger driving your vehicle around? 90% of people that wanna buy a vehicle before they drive it. It's just a little bit scary, right? You couldn't, it says uh, you can't put a price on your safety, but if you could, it would have to be worth at least the extra $1,500 you wanted for your trade, right? Look, why don't we wrap this deal up? Plus, you're gonna get the tax credit for your trade in, and let's go ahead and do business now. See what I'm saying? And then they back off. You go for the close, you put your hand out. By the way, anytime you go for a close, what happens with your hand? You stick it in their chest, right? Do you want someone to sign the paper first or shake your hand? Shake your hand. Mm -hmm. Listen, this is a common mistake. I see a lot of people. They're like, listen, guys, so, you know, doesn't it make complete sense to trade and it's super affordable? Absolutely. Guys, go ahead and sign right here. Let's get your new car cleaned up. Watch this. Doesn't it make complete sense to trade and it's super affordable? Absolutely, guys. Let's wrap this up. Thank you so much. All right, go, see that? Okay, listen to me. I got to give him my pen and then he's got to go back to the paper. How many moves is that? They stop. There was two. Here, he signs. This is one. Right? This is faster. Get the handshake. What happens if I can get his hand? That's it. We got a deal. A lot of times I can trick people just by getting your hand. I'll be like, that's fair, right? It's not a matter of if you're gonna buy it's win, but the win is when the deal's right, right? Cool, then let's wrap it up. Thank you so much. Watch this. Yeah, I'm sitting here and he's like, Andy, I don't know if we should do it. I don't know, man. I like the car, but I don't know if we should do it. I say, hey, look, the deal is, is that you've been thinking for a while that you wanna buy a vehicle. Look, anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow, wouldn't you agree? Cool, then let's wrap it up now. Look, he got his hand. Did you see that? How did I know I was gonna get his hand? And he didn't even know he was gonna shake my hand, but I knew I was gonna get it. I said this, I said, hey, the fact is that you've been thinking about buying a car for a, a while, now that it's happened, I think anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow, wouldn't you agree? Cool, let's do it. See how fast I grabbed his hand? Is that a close? Uh -huh. Yes, what did I say? I said, let's do it in different words, new language. Every say, everybody say this, anything that should be done today. Anything that should be done today. Shouldn't be put off for tomorrow. Shouldn't, shouldn't be, put be put off, off for tomorrow. tomorrow. Wouldn't you agree? Wouldn't you agree? agree? Now watch this, when I say wouldn't you agree, I'm shaking my head. I'll be, I'll be, watch, I can get anybody to do it. Hey, look, anything that should be done today shouldn't be put off for tomorrow, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, let's do it today. Okay, that's it. They'll always grab your hand. You can't, it's, 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 uh, it's called momentum close. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm.